when two particles interact, their mutual cross-section is the area transverse to their relative motion within which they must meet in order to scatter from each other. If the particles are hard inelastic spheres that interact only upon contact, their scattering cross-section is related to their geometric size. If the particles interact through some action at a distance force, such as electromagnetism or gravity, their scattering cross-section is generally larger than their geometric size. When a cross-section is specified as a function of some final state variable, such as particle angle or energy, it is called a differential cross-section. When a cross section is integrated over all scattering angles and possibly other variables, it is called a total cross section. Cross sections are typically denoted sigma, sigma and measured in units of area. Scattering cross sections may be defined in nuclear, atomic, and particle physics for collisions of accelerated beams of one type of particle with targets either stationary or moving of a second type of particle. The probability for any given reaction to occur is in proportion to its cross-section. Thus, specifying the cross-section for a given reaction is a proxy for stating the probability that a given scattering process will occur. The measured reaction rate of a given process depends strongly on experimental variables such as the density of the target material, the intensity of the beam, the detection efficiency of the apparatus, or the angle setting of the detection apparatus. However, these quantities can be factored away, allowing measurement of the underlying two-particle collisional cross-section. Differential and total scattering cross-sections are among the most important measurable quantities in nuclear, atomic, and particle physics. Topic. Collision among gas particles In a gas of finite-sized particles there are collisions among particles that depend on their cross-sectional size. The average distance that a particle travels between collisions depends on the density of gas particles. These quantities are related by sigma equals 1 n lambda display style sigma equals frac 1 n lambda where Sigma is the cross section of a two particle collision SI units M2 Lambda is the mean free path between collisions SI units M N is the number density of the target particles SI units M-3 if the particles in the gas can be treated as hard spheres of radius r that interact by direct contact as illustrated in figure 1 then the effective cross section for the collision of a pair is Sigma equals pi two R two display style sigma equals pi left two R right carrot two. If the particles in the gas interact by a force with a larger range than their physical size, then the cross section is a larger effective area that may depend on a variety of variables such as the energy of the particles. Cross sections can be computed for atomic collisions but also are used in the subatomic realm. For example, in nuclear physics a gas of low energy neutrons collides with nuclei in a reactor or other nuclear device, with a cross section that is energy dependent and hence also with well defined mean free path between collisions. Topic. Attenuation of a beam of particles If a beam of particles enters a thin layer of material of thickness dz, the flux phi of the beam will decrease by d phi according to d phi d z equals minus n sigma phi display style frac mathrm d phi mathrm d z equals n sigma phi 
where σ is the total cross section of all events, including scattering, absorption, or transformation to another species. The number density of scattering centers is designated by n. Solving this equation exhibits the exponential attenuation of the beam intensity. Phi equals phi zero e minus n sigma z. Display style phi equals phi underscore zero e caret n sigma z. Where phi zero is the initial flux and z is the total thickness of the material. For light, this is called the Beer-Lambert law. Topic: Differential cross section. Consider a classical measurement where a single particle is scattered off a single stationary target particle. Conventionally, a spherical coordinate system is used, with the target placed at the origin and the z-axis of this coordinate system aligned with the incident beam. The angle θ is the scattering angle, measured between the incident beam and the scattered beam, and the φ is the azimuthal angle. The impact parameter B is the perpendicular offset of the trajectory of the incoming particle, and the outgoing particle emerges at an angle θ. For a given interaction Coulombage, magnetic, gravitational, contact, etc., the impact parameter and the scattering angle have a definite one-to-one -one functional dependence on each other. Generally the impact parameter can neither be controlled nor measured from event to event and is assumed to take all possible values when averaging over many scattering events. The differential size of the cross section is the area element in the plane of the impact parameter, i.e., d sigma. Topic b d phi d b. The differential angular range of the scattered particle at angle theta is the solid angle element d omega. sin theta d theta d phi the differential cross section is the quotient of these quantities d sigma per deci ohm it is a function of the scattering angle and therefore also the impact parameter plus other observables such as the momentum of the incoming particle the differential cross section is always taken to be positive even though larger impact parameters generally produce less deflection in cylindrically symmetric situations about the beam axis, the azimuthal angle phi is not changed by the scattering process, and the differential cross section can be written as d sigma d cos theta equals one two pi zero two pi D sigma D omega D phi display style frac mathrm D sigma mathrm D cos theta equals frac one two pi int underscore zero caret two pi frac mathrm D sigma mathrm D omega mathrm D var phi in situations where the scattering process is not azimuthally symmetric, such as when the beam or target particles possess magnetic moments oriented perpendicular to the beam axis, the differential cross section must also be expressed as a function of the azimuthal angle. For scattering of particles of incident flux Fink off a stationary target consisting of many particles, the differential cross section d sigma per deci ohm at an angle theta phi is related to the flux of scattered particle detection fout theta phi in particles per unit time by d sigma d omega theta phi equals one N T Delta Omega F out theta 
phi f inc display style frac mathrm d sigma mathrm d omega theta bar phi equals frac 1 nt delta omega frac f underscore text out theta bar phi f underscore text inc here do as the finite angular size of the detector SI unit, senior, n is the number density of the target particles SI units, m-3, and t is the thickness of the stationary target SI units, m. This formula assumes that the target is thin enough that each beam particle will interact with at most one target particle. The total cross section sigma may be recovered by integrating the differential cross section d sigma per deci ohm over the full solid angle 4 pi steradians sigma equals 4 pi d sigma d omega d omega equals 0 2 pi 0 pi d sigma d omega sin theta d theta d phi Display style sigma equals oint underscore four pi frac mathrm d sigma mathrm d omega mathrm d omega equals int underscore zero caret two pi int underscore zero caret pi frac mathrm d sigma mathrm d omega sin theta mathrm d theta mathrm d bar phi it is common to omit the differential qualifier when the type of cross section can be inferred from context. In this case, sigma may be referred to as the integral cross section or total cross section. The latter term may be confusing in contexts where multiple events are involved, since total can also refer to the sum of cross sections over all events. The differential cross section is extremely useful quantity in many fields of physics, as measuring it can reveal a great amount of information about the internal structure of the target particles. For example, the differential cross section of Rutherford scattering provided strong evidence for the existence of the atomic nucleus. Instead of the solid angle, the momentum transfer may be used as the independent variable of differential cross sections. Differential cross sections in inelastic scattering contain resonance peaks that indicate the creation of metastable states and contain information about their energy and lifetime. Topic: <laughs> Quantum scattering. In the time-independent formalism of quantum scattering, the initial wave function before scattering is taken to be a plane wave with definite momentum k phi minus r r infinity e i k z Display style phi underscore math bf r stackrel r to nft long right arrow e caret i k z, where z and r are the relative coordinates between the projectile and the target. The arrow indicates that this only describes the asymptotic behavior of the wave function when the projectile and target are too far apart for the interaction to have any effect. After the scattering takes place, it is expected that the wave function takes on the following asymptotic form phi plus r r infinity f theta phi e i k r r Display style phi underscore plus math bf r stackrel r to nft long right arrow f theta phi frac e caret i k r r. 
where f is some function of the angular coordinates known as the scattering amplitude. This general form is valid for any short-ranged, energy-conserving interaction. It is not true for long-ranged interactions, so there are additional complications when dealing with electromagnetic interactions. The full wave function of the system behaves asymptotically as the sum phi r r infinity phi minus r plus phi plus r Display style phi math bf r stackrel r to nft long right arrow phi underscore math bf r plus phi underscore plus math bf r. The differential cross section is related to the scattering amplitude d sigma d omega theta phi equals f Theta phi two display style frac mathrm d sigma mathrm d omega theta phi equals b i g l f theta phi big R caret two. This has the simple interpretation as the probability density for finding the scattered projectile at a given angle. A cross section is therefore a measure of the effective surface area seen by the impinging particles, and as such is expressed in units of area. The cross section of two particles, i.e., observed when the two particles are colliding with each other, is a measure of the interaction event between the two particles. The cross section is proportional to the probability that an interaction will occur. For example, in a simple scattering experiment, the number of particles scattered per unit of time, current of scattered particles IR, depends only on the number of incident particles per unit of time, current of incident particles E. The characteristics of target, for example, the number of particles per unit of surface N, and the type of interaction. For n sigma one, we have I r equals I i n sigma sigma equals I r i i one n equals probability of interaction times one n. Display style begin aligned i underscore text r and equals i underscore text i n sigma sigma and equals frac i underscore text r i underscore text i frac one n and equals text probability of interaction times frac C one N end aligned. Topic Relation to the S matrix. If the reduced masses and momenta of the colliding system are Mi, Pi, and Mf, Pf before and after the collision respectively, the differential cross section is given by D Sigma D Omega equals two Pi four M I M F P F P I T F I two Display style frac mathrm d sigma mathrm d omega equals left two pi right caret four m underscore i m underscore f frac p underscore f p underscore i b i g l t underscore phi big R caret two, where the on shell T matrix is defined by S f i equals delta f i minus 2 pi i delta e f minus e i delta p i minus p f T F I 
Display style s underscore phi equals delta underscore phi minus two pi i delta left e underscore f e underscore i right delta left math bf p underscore i math bf p underscore f right t underscore phi. In terms of the s matrix, here delta is the Dirac delta function. The computation of the S matrix is the main goal of the scattering theory. Topic: <laughs> Units. Although the SI unit of total cross sections is m2, smaller units are usually used in practice. In nuclear and particle physics, the conventional unit is the barn B, where 1 B topic 10 minus 28 square meters 100 fm2. Smaller prefixed units such as mb and mub are also widely used. Correspondingly, the differential cross section can be measured in units such as mb per steradian. When the scattered radiation is visible light, it is conventional to measure the path length in centimeters. To avoid the need for conversion factors, the scattering cross section is expressed in cm2, and the number concentration in cm3. The measurement of the scattering of visible light is known as nephilometry, and is effective for particles of 2 to 50 micrometers in diameter. As such, it is widely used in meteorology and in the measurement of atmospheric pollution. The scattering of X rays can also be described in terms of scattering cross sections, in which case the square angstrom is a convenient unit, 1 or 2. Topic ten minus twenty square meters ten thousand PM two equals one hundred eight B equals Topic Scattering of light equals for light, as in other settings, the scattering cross-section is generally different from the geometrical cross-section of a particle, and it depends upon the wavelength of light and the permittivity, shape and size of the particle. The total amount of scattering in a sparse medium is proportional to the product of the scattering cross-section and the number of particles present. In terms of area, the total cross section sigma is the sum of the cross sections due to absorption, scattering and luminescence. The sum of the absorption and scattering cross sections is sometimes referred to as the extinction cross section. Sigma equals sigma a plus sigma s plus sigma L display style sigma equals sigma underscore text a plus sigma underscore text s plus sigma underscore text L. The total cross section is related to the absorbance of the light intensity through the Beer-Lambert law, which says that absorbance is proportional to particle concentration. A lambda equals c L sigma display style a underscore lambda equals cl sigma where a lambda is the absorbance at a given wavelength lambda c is the particle concentration as a number density and l is the path length the absorbance of the radiation is the logarithm decadic or more usually natural of the reciprocal of the transmittance t a lambda equals Minus log t display style a underscore lambda equals log math call t topic scattering of light on extended bodies. 
In the context of scattering light on extended bodies, the scattering cross-section, sigma scat, describes the likelihood of light being scattered by a macroscopic particle. In general, the scattering cross-section is different from the geometrical cross-section of a particle, as it depends upon the wavelength of light and the permittivity in addition to the shape and size of the particle. The total amount of scattering in a sparse medium is determined by the product of the scattering cross-section and the number of particles present. In terms of area, the total cross-section is the sum of the cross-sections due to absorption, scattering and luminescence sigma equals sigma a plus sigma s plus sigma l Display style sigma equals sigma underscore text L plus sigma underscore text S plus sigma underscore text L. The total cross section is related to the absorbance of the light intensity through the Beer Lambert law, which says that absorbance is proportional to concentration, a lambda equals Cl sigma, where A lambda is the absorbance at a given wavelength lambda, C is the concentration as a number density, and L is the path length. The extinction or absorbance of the radiation is the logarithm decadic or, more usually, natural of the reciprocal of the transmittance T A lambda equals minus log T display style A underscore lambda equals log math call T Topic. Relation to physical size There is no simple relationship between the scattering cross-section and the physical size of the particles, as the scattering cross-section depends on the wavelength of radiation used. This can be seen when driving in foggy weather, the droplets of water which form the fog scatter red light less than they scatter the shorter wavelengths present in white light, and the red rear fog light can be distinguished more clearly than the white headlights of an approaching vehicle. That is to say that the scattering cross-section of the water droplets is smaller for red light than for light of shorter wavelengths, even though the physical size of the particles is the same. Topic. Meteorological range The scattering cross-section is related to the meteorological range L V L V equals 3.9 C sigma scat Display style L underscore text V equals FRAC 3.9 C sigma underscore text scat. The quantity C sigma scat is sometimes denoted BSCAT, the scattering coefficient per unit length. Topic Examples Topic. Example 1, elastic collision of two hard spheres The elastic collision of two hard spheres is an instructive example that demonstrates the sense of calling this quantity a cross-section. R and R are respectively the radii of the scattering center and scattered sphere. The total cross-section is sigma tot equals pi r plus r 2 display style sigma underscore text tot equals pi left r plus r right caret 2 so in this case the total scattering cross section is equal to the area of the circle with radius r plus r within which the center of mass of the incoming sphere has to arrive for it to be deflected, and outside which it passes by the stationary scattering center. Topic. 
Example 2, scattering light from a 2D circular mirror. Another example illustrates the details of the calculation of a simple light scattering model obtained by a reduction of the dimension. For simplicity, we will consider the scattering of a beam of light on a plane treated as a uniform density of parallel rays and within the framework of geometrical optics from a circle with radius r with a perfectly reflecting boundary. Its three-dimensional equivalent is therefore the more difficult problem of a laser or flashlight light scattering from the mirror sphere, for example, from the mechanical bearing ball. The unit of cross-section in one dimension is the unit of length, for example 1 meter. Let α be the angle between the light ray and the radius joining the reflection point of the light ray with the center point of the circle mirror. Then the increase of the length element perpendicular to the light beam is expressed by this angle as d x equals r cos alpha d alpha display style mathrm d x equals r cos alpha mathrm d alpha the reflection angle of this ray with respect to the incoming ray is then 2 alpha and the scattering angle is theta equals pi minus 2 alpha display style theta equals pi minus 2 alpha the energy or the number of photons reflected from the light beam with the intensity or density of photons i on the length dx is i d sigma equals i d x x equals i r cos alpha d alpha equals i r 2 sin theta 2 d theta equals i d sigma d theta d theta Display style i mathrm d sigma equals i mathrm d x x equals i r cos alpha mathrm d alpha equals i frac r two sin left frac theta two right mathrm d theta equals i frac mathrm d sigma mathrm d theta mathrm d theta The differential cross section is therefore d omega equals d theta d sigma d theta equals r 2 sin theta 2 display style frac mathrm d sigma mathrm d theta equals frac r 2 sin left frac theta 2 right as it is seen from the behavior of the sine function, this quantity has the maximum for the backward scattering theta. Topic pi. The light is reflected perpendicularly and returns, and the zero minimum for the scattering from the edge of the circle directly forward theta zero. It confirms the intuitive expectations that the mirror circle acts like a diverging lens, and a thin beam is more diluted the closer it is from the edge defined with respect to the incoming direction. The total cross-section can be obtained by summing integrating the differential section of the entire range of angles. Sigma equals 0 2 pi d sigma d theta d theta equals 0 2 pi r 
2 sin theta 2 d theta equals minus r cos theta 2 0 2 pi equals 2 r Display style sigma equals int underscore zero carrot two pi frac mathrm d sigma mathrm d theta mathrm d theta equals int underscore zero carrot two pi frac r two sin left frac theta two right mathrm d theta equals left r cos left frac theta two right right underscore zero carrot two pi equals two r so it is equal as much as the circular mirror is totally screening the two-dimensional space for the beam of light. In three dimensions for the mirror ball with the radius r it is therefore equal sigma equals pi r2 equals Topic example 3. Scattering light from a 3D spherical mirror equals we can now use the result from the example 2 to calculate the differential cross section for the light scattering from the perfectly reflecting sphere in three dimensions. Let us denote now the radius of the sphere as A. Let us parametrize the plane perpendicular to the incoming light beam by the cylindrical coordinates R and phi. In any plane of the incoming and the reflected ray we can write now from the previous example, R equals a sin alpha, dr equals a cos alpha d alpha, display style, begin, aligned, R and equals a sin alpha, mathrm d, R and equals a cos alpha, mathrm d alpha, end, aligned, while the impact area element is d sigma equals dr r times r d phi equals a 2 2 sin theta 2 cos theta 2 d theta d phi display style mathrm d sigma equals mathrm d r r times r mathrm d varphi equals frac a caret 2 2 sin left frac theta 2 right cos left frac theta 2 right mathrm d theta mathrm d varphi Using the relation for the solid angle in the spherical coordinates, d omega equals sin theta d theta d phi. Display style mathrm d omega equals sin theta mathrm d theta mathrm d var phi, and the trigonometric identity. Sin theta equals two sin theta two cos theta two display style sin theta equals two sin left frac theta two right cos left frac theta two right. We obtain d sigma d omega equals a 2 4 display style frac mathrm d sigma mathrm d omega equals frac a caret 2 4 while the total cross section as we expected as sigma equals 4 pi D Sigma D Omega D Omega equals Pi a two Display style sigma equals oint underscore four pi frac mathrm d sigma mathrm d omega mathrm d omega equals pi a carrot two as one can see, it also agrees with the result from the example 1 if the photon is assumed to be a rigid sphere of zero radius. See also